Hi, my name is Amy. I'm with AC Ashworth and Company. I'm a pattern drafter and I wanted to put together a quick video about grading, about grade rules. I've seen a lot of questions on social media and other places about grade rules and grade rule tables. So what I'd like to show you is how to extrapolate grade rules from a block. Here we go. Okay, the first thing I'd like you to do is print off a Cartesian coordinate graph. I put a link to a free download in the description. I printed this off on transparent, Canson transparent tracing paper. You want it transparent so you can see through it. What we're gonna use this for is to lay on our pattern so that wherever we have it, whatever grade rule we're trying to extrapolate, we can always be sure that we can hold our ruler straight as we're making these measurements, whether up or down. What's important about this is your Y coordinate and your X coordinate. Everything in your grade rule table, whether using a computer system, I use Cameo, your positive numbers are going up and to the right and negative numbers on the Y axis going down and negative numbers going to the left. And this is uh, going to be the basis for entering your grade rules onto your grade rule table if you're using a computer system. If you're a designer and you need to give grade rules to your pattern drafter, they still need to be in, in an X and Y format for every point. Now let me point out something. There's certain places where a pattern will always grow. These are the standard points. The standard points of grading is center, front, at waistline. Waistline at side seam, side seam at hip, side seam at knee, I'll roll this out, side seam at hem, inseam at hem, inseam at knee, crotch point, and center front at crotch. Those are your main, oh, and also you can, if you have a dart, you have the dart point. You have a right dart leg, center, left dart leg. Sometimes just right dart leg and left dart leg, depending on how specific uh, your requirements are in your system. Um, so those are the main points. What I do is I number those so that I know every time I come into a number one, I know that I'm talking about center front at waist. That's gonna be my grade rule. So we're gonna get basic grade rules because this is just a block. This isn't your design. Now, your design may be completely different. You may, uh, for example, ha have a very narrow leg and, and this line here, instead of going at this rate to, you've got a grade rule here and you've got a grade rule here, but you may have a real bend in here. Or you may have a bend, say, from the knee to the hem, it might flare out here or it may come in. So there's going to be points on your pattern based on your design, okay? But this is just to get the basic ones in. In a later video, I'm gonna show you how to extrapolate grade rules from your own design, from your own design so that you can tell your pattern maker or put in your own computer system what your grade rules are so that your particular individual design will grade properly exactly the way you want it to and the way you've designed it to and it'll fit on every one of those sizes. It should fit on every one of those sizes just the way it fit on your first model. So the first thing you need to know is how to get those grade rules off into X and Y format, okay? I realize I'm upside down from you, it might be a lot easier if I turn the camera around, so I'm gonna do that. All right, grade rules are determined by how a pattern grows based on right angles horizontally and right angles vertically. We're gonna look at number 10 measurement, which is center front at crotch, which is just horizontal, okay? So I'm gonna take this graph paper and hold it down and it's its purpose is to make sure that I'm holding my ruler perfectly straight. And then I will measure between 
one of the smaller lines to the larger line. So we're, we're growing, we're getting larger. And what that measurement is, is 2 sixteenths, okay? If your computer rating system is based on sixteenths, you would put for your X coordinate, negative two. If it was based on 30 seconds, you would put negative four for your X coordinate. And for Y, you would put zero because this isn't going up at any angle. It's completely straight. Okay, let's look at one that does both, going X and Y coordinates, and that is this one up here. So we're going to take the number one measurement, center front at waist, number one measurement. All right, so to get larger. Oh, by the way, I want to point out, if you're getting smaller, you just do the opposite sign. So if I was going from this one, the small size is a size 10. So if you wanted a size 8 on the x-axis, you would just do positive 2, okay? If it's based on 16ths of an inch or positive 4. And if it's based on centimeters, you just write in how many centimeters. So it's a lot easier. Uh, there's no confusion there. Okay, so on this one, and this is where the graph paper becomes very important because you really want to make sure that you are holding your ruler nice and straight. In this case, in this case, you're going to measure, I want to use the inches side, measure from the small to the larger because these are getting larger. And once again, we have 2 sixteenths, so x, because we're going this way, negative 2, if our basis is sixteenths. I need a ruler that reads 30 seconds, and this one is not a good example for that. But I'm just trying to show you how to do it. What you're going to go is from your smallest size to the largest on the x-coordinate, and then you're going to go from that place up to that point, that angle, on the y-coordinate. In this case, it's 330 seconds. Okay, so obviously using sixteenths isn't going to work because this is more precise than that. Okay, so in this in, in this example, I would have to move my uh, move my example to thirty seconds. The x coordinate would be negative. Oops, negative four thirty seconds, and the y coordinate going up would be a positive. Three. And that would be point 0.1 to increase the size. If we were decreasing the size, it would be, the, the signs would just be opposite. If we're increase, if decreasing the size by 1. Okay, if you're decreasing the size by 2, in this example, on this sloper, okay, all of these are even. The amount going up is the same as the amount going down. You're always gauging it from your base size, okay? Whatever your base size is. So let me point out, if I'm going up two sizes, that's to go up one size, negative four. Let's say that was to go to the size 12. We're going to the size 14, our x coordinate grade rule would be negative 8. Okay, it would be double that because all of them are going to go from your zero point, which is your base size. Okay, that's how our grade rule tables in Cameo are designed. All right, all the grade rules are from the base size. Usually, that base size is your medium. In this case, just for clarity's sake, so we're not fooling around in the middle of all these lines. I'm just using the smallest size as the base so that you can see how this works, okay? But that's how you would write these grade rules. Talk to me in the comments if you have specific questions about this. It's a little bit hard to explain on a video, but I want you to understand 
the amount over and the amount up. However you measure that, that's your grade rule. Going to the left, negative. Going up, positive. Okay, here's a close-up of the x and y axis grade rule on the number one, which is center front at waist. Again, I use my graph paper just to make sure I'm holding my ruler straight. So I'm gonna put this over here. Be careful not to use the graph for anything. Don't read from it, just use it to make sure you're holding your ruler straight. See this circle right here? That's what I'm measuring from. This ruler is on 30 seconds. So now that I've got a lot more precise here, I can see that my grade rule on X becoming larger is 430 seconds. So X for one size larger is negative four if it's based on 30 seconds. Okay. And then holding that that ruler perfectly straight according to the graph we have three 30 seconds going upward again this graph paper as you can see it on here is is so that I can hold my my ruler perfectly straight all right, so that wraps it up on grade rules and how to extrapolate a grade rule from a standard sloper. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Amy Ashworth with AC Ashworth and Company.